In this lecture, we will learn how to specify the job execution order in the same stage. So here we have uh, three stages, the base stage, the test stage, and the deploy stage. And we have the build job, the test job, and the deploy job. Here we want to add a new stage. We will call it the Docker stage. And in this Docker stage, we will have three jobs. So in the Docker stage, we want to uh, build the Docker image. So here, this job is for building the Docker image. Here we are just executing uh, the echo command with uh, some messages. So first of all, we echo starting the Docker build job, and then we execute the sleep command, and then we echo the message Docker build job completed. And the same for the Docker test job and the Docker push job. So here in the new stage, in the Docker stage, we have the Docker build job, the Docker test job, and the Docker push job. Okay, so we want to build the Docker image, then test the image, and finally pushing the image to a registry like Docker Hub. So let's commit the changes and see what will happen. So this commit will trigger uh, the pipeline. So now the pipeline is running. So now we see here that we have four stages. In the build stage, we have one job. It is called the build job. And then in the test stage, we have the test job. Then we have the Docker stage where we have three jobs, the Docker build job, the Docker push job, and the Docker test job. And finally, in the deploy stage, we have the deploy job. Here, by default, in the Docker stage, this job will be executed in parallel. Now we see that the three jobs of the Docker stage are executed at the same time. So we see here that the Docker push job and the Docker test job are finished before the docker build job and that's not what we want so here we want first of all to build the docker image using the docker build job and then we test the docker image by executing the docker test job and finally we push the docker image to a container registry like docker hub by executing the docker push job and that can be done using the needs keyword. So let's go back here to the pipeline editor. And here, so we want to execute the Docker test job after executing the Docker build job. Okay, so here we will add the needs keyword. And here we will specify the jobs that should be executed before start executing the Docker test job. So here we want to execute the Docker test job after executing the Docker build job. And the same for the Docker push job. So here we will add the needs keyword. And here we want to start executing this job, the Docker push job, after finishing executing the Docker test job. So here we will mention the name of the Docker test job. So now the pipeline will start first of all by executing the build job, then the test job, and then in the Docker stage, the jobs will no longer be executed in parallel. So now the Docker build job will be executed first, then the Docker test job, and finally the Docker push job. So now let's commit the changes and see the impact of the needs keyword.
Some of the pipeline is running. So here we have the stages and we can see also the job dependencies. So let's show the dependencies. And now we see that the Docker test job uh, depends on the Docker build job. So the Docker test job will start only after finishing executing the Docker build job. The same for the Docker push job. Uh, it depends on the Docker test job. So the execution of the Docker push job will start only after finishing executing the Docker test job. So now the jobs of the Docker stage will no longer be executed in parallel. So now after finishing executing the test job, in the Docker stage, we start by executing the Docker build job. Then after finishing executing the Docker build job, we start executing the Docker test job. And now after uh, finishing executing the Docker test job, the Docker push job start its execution. So using the needs keyword, we can specify the execution order of the jobs in the same stage. Another use case of the needs keyword is to make a job of a stage depends on a job of another stage. So for example, here we can make the Docker build job of the Docker stage depends on the build job of the build stage. And when we do that, the Docker build job will no longer wait for the test job to be completed. It will start just after the build job was completed. So let's go back here to the pipeline editor. And here we will uh, make the Docker build job depends on the build job. So here we will add the needs keyword and we will mention the name of this job, which is the build job. So now the pipeline is running. So let's see the job dependencies. So now the Docker build job, if we show the dependencies, we see that the Docker build job now depends on the build job. So after the build job was completed, the Docker build job will start its execution. So it will no longer wait for the test job to be completed. So now after finishing the execution of the build job, the test job and the Docker build job will start at the same time, okay? So they will be executed in parallel. So that's how we can specify the execution order using the needs keyword. So I hope that everything is clear and see you next time.